Okay, the next update on this Bixler quad plane, have everything connected, ready to go, loaded, firmware, we have it set to a quad plane. Took just some notes as I'm going through this process, so I set Q enable to one, the parameters, our PixHawk Q board orientation is YAW 180. And what that means is in here, I'm not gonna take this all the way off, but the PixHawk cube is in there, it's actually facing to the tail or the rudder. So for that to work properly, I had to change the AHRS orientation to YAW 180. We also have arming rudder set to two, so I can arm and disarm with the rudder stick. And then I've also set the arming check to see a few different ones, but I set it to 2112. Uh, that basically means it's going to ignore some things so that we can test in the garage. We're not gonna have GPS in here, so I wanna be able to take off and test the hover. And that default flight mode that I have set up is Q stabilize. So we'll try to get it in the air and just get it to hover for a bit. One thing I'll mention is that I did not have the 3DR telemetry radio connected previously, so I got that wired up. I had to do a bit of a cutout just so I could get my finger in there and get this mounted. I didn't want to have to pull the cube all the way out. Also, I'm going to go with the 3000 milliamp hour 4S LiPo, just a basic one you can get from Hobby King. I just figure 4S will be a little bit better. I was looking at um, some of the thrust charts from APC. These are the 10 by 4.5 multi-rotor props. Don't quote me on this, I'm doing this from memory, but I think after looking at the thrust charts for these APCs, we can get almost two and a half pounds for 900 kV at 4S. With this battery, we're at roughly four and a quarter pounds. Fairly, you know, heavy setup compared to what you would normally have with just Bixler, your ESC and battery for a recreational flyer. So definitely heavier, but I feel like with the two and a half pounds times four, almost 10 pounds of thrust total. So uh, we should be good. Hopefully we can get it at a hover at about 50% throttle. I want to mention no forward flight prop on there yet. Do not have the rudder connected, just aileron and elevators. Goal is to hover today and then uh, hopefully over the weekend I can get into forward flight and update you guys then. Okay, we're going to do a garage test. Probably not the best idea, but super windy outside. I've set uh, the arming check parameter to ignore any sort of GPS issues since we're indoors. So we should be able to arm it. And for my flight mode switch, we're gonna start in stabilize mode. Actually, we're just gonna leave it in stabilize mode. I need to uh, toggle the safety, so let me do that. And we'll just test. Not gonna do any forward flight, obviously, but aileron's elevator worked well. My rudder actually isn't hooked up yet. So let me go ahead and arm. All right, so let's just see how this does. I'm not gonna keep it in the air too long, but uh, try to get it up. Not a bad hover test. There was, uh, you probably could hear quite a bit of vibration coming off of that. So definitely don't want to be hovering at a high altitude for too long. Definitely want to get it into forward flight as quickly as possible. It is a little bit squirrely. The yaw control was a little bit challenging. Definitely some tuning that needs to be done there. But all in all, the hover test went well. Obviously that's 
pretty much the easy part, I think. Getting to forward flight is gonna be more challenging, but I'll share my progress as I go. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.